Hello, welcome to this NPTEL MOOC course on Phonetics and Phonology Abroad Overview. Uh, this is an introduction to this course and I will talk about the main components of this course and uh, how this course is going to be interesting for those interested in speech sounds. So many of you if you have wondered how the sounds that we uh, seem to magically produce from our mouth hit the hearer's ear, uh, brain and then they are interpreted as certain sounds and finally as words and sentences. Um, what is the process going on there? The sound waves that we produce as a result of our uh, articulatory system makes the words which are um, interpreted by a hearer's capability of understanding language. So there are various levels of um, speech sounds that can be studied. This course of obviously as the name suggests it deals with all the major aspects of phonetics and phonology and phonetics and phonology are the two major branches within linguistics that focus on sounds and both of them are derived from the Greek word phon meaning sound. In this course there will be mainly eight components. Uh, the first part is the human speech apparatus where we talk about articulation of vowels and consonants, representation of sounds. So uh, in that part we will look at how sounds are produced. I am showing a short clip here where we will discuss uh, how sounds are produced with these kinds of short clips. And another interesting part of this course is we will study sounds of the world's languages where we look at language endangerment and language varieties. We look at how um, languages which are facing uh, endangerment have unique properties of sounds and uh, the more we lose languages the more uh, such unique properties are lost from the languages of the world. And also we will look at uh, different airstream mechanisms, how ejectives are produced, clicks are produced, retroflexes are produced, also other types of unique properties like voiceless sonorants. And we will also look at uh, the acoustic analysis of uh, these sounds or even other sounds. So which would include uh, Fourier transform and source filter theory. Also uh, we will look at resonances, spectrograms, vowels and vowel chart. We will use recordings to look at uh, these technical things. We will also uh, look at um, uh, not just the phonetics, we will also study perception. So when we talk about the words, the, the sound waves produced from our mouth and which are interpreted as uh, meaningful uh, words, the sounds um, which lead to meaningful words, there is something which helps in that process and that is called speech perception. And speech perception helps us to perceive speech despite all the variabilities that, that exist in the environment as well as variabilities which are a result of the speaker belonging to different uh, geographical areas or speaking different varieties or idiosyncratic um, properties of sounds because of the speaker speaking slightly differently. Now um, such things despite the variability in the signal, speech sounds can be perceived quite um, efficiently by hearers. What are those capabilities which help us in perceiving speech uh, efficiently? And uh, in this part, in the speech perception part, we will look at uh, such invariant uh, properties such as categorical perception, etc. So in the phonology part, we will look at phonemes, we will look at syllables, we will talk about what are distinctive uh, features and how some sounds are more marked than some other sounds, how some sounds are occur or groups of sounds occur in, mo in more languages and how some uh, do not and we will look at their distribution and rules and uh, how those are constrained, how phonemes and allophones are different in different languages. We will also look at phonotactics. For instance, we will discuss how a sound, how a um, combination of sounds are restricted in some languages. Suppose if I say put a random sounds together, can they be a word in any language? Can they be a word in 
one particular language or can there be a word in it? What are those um, properties which, which govern the making of words or what are even words? So, are, do words exist at all? So, these are the questions which we will look at and also we will look at um, morphophonology. We will look at um, uh, another aspect of speech that is uh, intonation where acoustic features contribute to the way a tune is in, in different languages. So, uh, a declarative tune or a, a, a declarative sentence which has a certain tune and a WH question for instance or a yes no questions, how are these different from each other? So, how do we understand that a question is being asked and what is that tune associated with each of those sentences. So, ultimately in this course we will look at various aspects of sound. So, not just the speech sounds, but also acoustic properties at the level of intonation. So, I would like to uh, encourage you to do this course so that you have a better understanding of speech sounds, uh, whether you require it academically or not. Thank you.